Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is part 7 out of 10 in my preparations for the LA Art Show. And this painting is titled Small Traveler. So something I want to talk about in this video is how I come up with the ideas for my paintings. Because when the gallery contacted me about making 10 paintings for this show, I nearly had a panic attack. And believe me when I say, I completely understand that all artists have their own creative process. So this advice is what works for me, but might not necessarily work for everyone. So at the beginning of the process, I do my best to take a lot of my own photo references that I can use for paintings down the road. I take photos of friends, family members, and landscapes around me. Basically anything that I find interesting and that might work with the themes of my artwork. And then the fun part for me is playing with and arranging these images in Photoshop. And while I'm working in Photoshop, I'm considering things like color, composition, lighting, and the subject matter of the piece. I'm not only trying to create paintings that fit with my overall breadth of work, but also grow and change over time. I want my work to look cohesive when you look at it all together, but also individualized enough to stand on its own. And another thing that really helps me when I'm trying to create new imagery is having specific themes and concepts that I can go back to and explore with each new piece. So some of the core themes in my work are humans, nature, animals, and the overall concept of emotional vulnerability. These are the sort of pillars of my work that I can go back to when I'm thinking about new ideas. And when I was taking the time to arrange these ideas in Photoshop, I was really thinking about what kind of subject and composition will look striking and interesting in a small square canvas. And my last piece of advice for coming up with ideas like this is having someone to bounce your ideas off of. When I was coming up with the idea for this piece, I really wanted to paint these hands, but I needed something else to make the painting even more interesting. And my wife came up with the idea of adding this small and colorful snail that added a more surreal story element to the piece. So I hope this advice can be at least a little bit helpful. I know how difficult it can be to think of new and creative ideas for paintings. And feel free to let me know what works for you in the comments below. But for now, thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.